Hello, hello everyone. What is up you guys? My name is Alicia. If you are new here and this is Stocks on a Budget and on this channel, you're going to be seeing all things budgeting. I like to do cash stuffings over here, savings challenges, seeking funds, and I also like to mix in a little bit of lifestyle content. So sometimes you might see travel vlogs or day in the lifestyle videos. So if that is something that you are interested in, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below and join the family. So in today's video, we are doing a cash stuffing. This is going to be my first cash stuffing of of July. So if that is something that you are interested in seeing, just keep watching. All right, you guys, I am back. So we are going to be stuffing $520 today and I have that money right here. So let's go ahead and count it and make sure we have what we're supposed to have. We have 50, 100, 50, 200, 250. We have 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 440, 50, 60. So that's 460, 465, 75, 85, 95, 500, and 5, 10, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that is 520. And I'm going to go ahead and move everything back a row so that we have enough room. And how are you guys doing? I am doing well. It's been such a nice weekend, kind of busy, but very relaxing. I'm so happy that I'm getting back to filming more consistently. So I hope you guys are excited too. So we are going to go ahead and get started with our cash envelopes. So I have them right here. So starting with gas. So gas is going to get $10. And so I'm using this money kind of um, right now for Ubers or if I use like the Metro or anything like that. So we're gonna be putting $10 to go towards, I guess like transportation, I should say, not specifically gas. We're gonna be skipping groceries for this week. For eating out, we're gonna be doing $15. So we're gonna grab a 10 and a five. I'm really trying to stop spending so much money week to week. Um, things are just getting so expensive and we have so many expenses right now that I just need to really monitor my spending. So we're just going to do $15 in case I want to, you know, grab something quick after work. Um, so for spending, spending is going to get $5 and kind of the same thing. I really don't need to buy anything um, week to week right now. Well, you know, like other than like toiletries and things like that. But as far as just doing random trips to Target, random trips to Home Goods, I got to stop doing that right now. So we're just going to do the $5 in spending. And then we don't have any rollover money. It's so hard to pick this up. There's no rollover money. So we don't have anything in the miscellaneous. So we've got everything in our cash envelopes. I will put this to the back and then we'll put that in my wallet and I'll be ready to go for the week. All right, so next we are going to do our bill binder. So I'm gonna to try to open this and get it to lay flat because this binder is always a struggle. So hopefully it will cooperate. All right, there we go. So first is gonna be medical. Medical is gonna get $5. I'm saving up to um, hopefully get Invisalign. So let's see, let's grab a five. We'll put that in the back. So in medical, we have 50, 100, 120, 40, 60, $165 towards our Invisalign. Um, or I'll use it like for co-pays if something comes up before then but for right now my goal is to get Invisalign student loans y'all our student loan payments may be starting back up I believe August is the estimated date so I just want to be prepared have like a couple of months worth of payments um, stocked up so we're gonna be doing half of um, a monthly payment so for me that's one hundred and forty seven dollars so let's do fifty one one hundred and twenty forty 45, 46, and 47. All right, and let's put that in order. Put the ones in the back. Uh, let's see, okay, here we go. Oh, y'all, this is <laughs> so unorganized. Hold on, okay, let's see. We got, okay, 20s here. We've got 50s. Okay, that should be right. All right, so for student loans total right now, we have 100, 200, 350, 450, 500. Wait, what? Hold on. 
100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80. So that's 580, 590, 591, 92, 93, 94. So $594 for our student loans. Okay, and then next we are going to do debt. So for debt, let's see, we are going to skip debt this week. And actually, while I'm here, I'm gonna take this money out because I did get a bill in the mail, uh, um, like taxes, I think. Um, so I'm gonna take this out because I paid it. It was $84, so I know this does not cover it, but I am gonna take this out and put this back into my account. So debt is going to be empty for right now. And then for our month ahead, I love this new envelope. So I ordered this along with a couple of other envelopes from Pinch Princess Budgets. So she does have a YouTube channel. She has um, an Etsy and I believe she has her own website as well. And this is just so beautiful. So we're using this to start a month ahead fund. And right now we just have $20 in here. So we are adding 20. So we've got a total of $40 for our month ahead fund. Okay, and that's gonna be it for our bill binder. So next we're going to do our high priority sinking funds. So let's see, starting with, let's see, emergency. Emergency is getting skipped this week, but I believe it has $1,040 in emergency. Um, savings, y'all, I still haven't even had a chance to make a label for this envelope yet, but I'm gonna do it. I have unpacked everything. So I have my Cricut, it's on my desk. I just need to sit down and take the time to make a new um, label for this envelope. But for savings, we are gonna be putting $50. So we'll just put that in the bag. And so in our savings, we have um, $500 in the bank. So I just have that represented by this placeholder. And then we have 600, 750. So $750 in our savings. And that's um, starting our three to six month savings. So I am trying to follow the Dave Ramsey baby, si baby step system. Um, so if you don't know what that is, you start with a $1,000 starter emergency fund, and then you pay off all your debts. Um, I don't have any debts other than my student loans and I'm not worried about paying that right now. So next is save three to six months worth of living expenses. So that is what I'm doing here in this envelope. Um, next is wedding. So we are going to be getting married next year in September. So we are starting to save for that, but I am going to use my $10 savings challenge and put money in here. So I'm going to skip wedding for right now. Uh, new whip. New whip is getting five dollars so i did sell my car and it's kind of funny i don't miss it <laughs> i never really drove it because i was working from home and now um I, I usually take like the train or the bus to work uh so it, it's been fine but i do probably want to get a car maybe within the next two years or so so just slowly putting away money for that so we're going to be putting five dollars in new whip so we have a total of 50 70 80 85 dollars and then i do have the money that i got when i sold my car in um a high yield savings account um but yeah i just don't have it represented here um, and then um, our future home. Okay, so future home, luxury, all these envelopes are empty. So if you didn't watch my last video, I told you guys that we had to empty out a lot of our envelopes. I emptied out my $100 savings challenge. We emptied out envelopes. We just had a lot of things to pay for that came along with getting a new apartment. So we're kind of starting over with some of our funds. So in our future home, we're gonna be putting $10 so starting over fresh in our future home luxury is getting skipped that's just not a priority right now but it is something that is very important and if you have the means to do so definitely treat yourself um date night date night is going to get twenty dollars let's see twenty dollars here and we've y'all we've been eating at home and it's funny because it doesn't even seem like it's cheaper to eat at home. It's cheap. To, it's not cheaper to eat at the restaurants. I just, I don't even know. Everything is expensive all the way around. The price of groceries, it is crazy. Like we, I love like the little chicken wingettes. So making like little chicken wings in the air fryer, a pack of those chicken drums, drumettes 
was $18 and just absolutely not. So we <laughs> like, no, I'm not doing it. So we've been trying to think of like budget friendly meals or, you know, places that you can go out to eat that's not so expensive, but it's just crazy. So if you know me, you know, I love Chipotle and I have not even been eating at Chipotle because my steak bowl is $11 and like 80 cents and like, <laughs> no absolutely not so we haven't been going on dates too often but it's fine so we've got twenty dollars in our date night envelope and then in self-care self-care is going to get five dollars and i think it's already open so self-care is just um for whenever i want to get a pedicure a manicure get my hair done um, my eyebrows threaded anything like that so we're starting over with five dollars for self-care and that's going to be it for our high priority sinking funds so i'm going to put that back over here and then next we're going to grab our lower priority sinking funds so we're going to be starting with household and i believe we have a lot of empty envelopes in this binder as well so household is going to be getting twenty dollars and that's for things like detergent paper towels we usually go to um like bj's or sam's club and buy the bulk size so we don't have to buy it as often i'm gonna put twenty dollars in there for now and if you're somebody that coupons so i know jessica her channel is jesse c envelopes um she does some couponing but if um any of you do couponing if you have tips and tricks please share them with me because <laughs> i'm trying to get some discounts so let me know um, so we've got $20 in our household. Oh, and I feel like that's a good time for me to mention. So I'm going to put my code right here on the screen for Fresh Rewards. So if you are interested in saving yourself some money, getting some cash back rewards, Fetch Rewards is a great app. All you have to do is scan your receipt and then you'll get points. And eventually, if you get enough points, you can redeem them for um, gift cards. And I also use Ibotta or Abata, and I'll put that on the screen as well, my code. That one's similar to Fetch, but you can actually redeem. Um, it's a money value. So I'll go ahead and put both of those on the screen if you are interested. So next we are going to do, let's see, we're going to skip the job. We are going to skip moving. Both of those are empty, but we're not stuffing those today. Let's see, gifts. Gifts is going to get $5. So in gifts, we have 20, 40, 45. We will put that in here. Okay, next we have clothes. So clothes is getting skipped, but I believe we have $100 for new clothes. Investing is also getting skipped this week, but we do have $5 in there. Um, and then car maintenance. So we are going to be stuffing car maintenance. So this is for Cam's car. Um, that's the only car that we have right now. And his car, <laughs> y'all, it's, it's struggling. So it's needing to get service more often. So I just kind of want to help out with that. So for car maintenance, we have 50 um, 55 60 $65 for car maintenance. All right, and that is gonna be it, you guys. That was our last envelope. So I will do another video this week, hopefully, and we're gonna be stuffing our savings challenges. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm thinking of going to see um, Thor. I believe it's called Love and War. So if you've seen it and you enjoy it, let me know what you thought about it down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.